I, I try to do quirky things. Like I pushed, I got into the hotel elevator and I pushed the buttons to every floor. Oh, yeah. I do that all the time. Yeah, I do. I just out of curiosity because I wanted to take a peek at some of the other floors and like some of the floors were dark or they had like rolled up carpet. But I kid you not, Dustin, every floor, the doors would open, somebody would come in. <laughs> It was just so, it was so, yeah. so bizarre. So all of a sudden we had a full elevator. We're like, <laughs> where were these people? But it, like one of the things that, and I don't know if you noticed that, but like a lot of, a lot of the same people that were getting on the elevator at the same time, later on during the day or another day at another site, it was the same people. Um, so that was kind of interesting as well. Yeah. Um, whether we were like visiting a historical site or anything, it would be, that's the same person I saw at the hotel getting in the elevators. So. Yeah. So there, yeah. there are a couple of those moments, but we weren't the only foreigners there. There was, there were quite a few Canadians and a German soccer team that we chatted oh, with right. a little yeah. bit at, at breakfast. So the food was delicious. I don't know if you're going to ask about that, but <laughs> yeah, uh, we'll get to the food and all the other. <laughs> yeah. There is a way to check if it's a two way mirror. It's, um, oh. I don't know exactly, but it's like you put your finger like, right up to it and like touch it and like if it's I, I don't remember which which is which but like a a one-way mirror will have like a, a slight like like a like a, a ever slight like kind of gap and the two-way mirror won't something like that and uh, I might have the I have it mixed up but it's, it's there's a difference between a one-way two-way mirror that you can, oh. yeah yeah uh, this is a very large yeah mirror and again it, it you totally could see into the sleeping quarters too so um i mean we talked but we were also sensitive about what we were talking about yeah. so yeah i have a feeling the old school radio was uh, where they put the listening <laughs> probably but, probably yeah but i guess cnn and bbc are sufficiently communist for them <laughs> well yeah we, we were allowed to, to at least watch the news yeah. so that's cool um so yeah, let's let's go ahead and talk about the food then. Like, uh, what what did you eat and how was it? And uh, I think you guys do have some pictures if you want to share the screen. Oh yeah, definitely. Well, you can talk. Do you want to? I can. Uh, do you want to talk about some of the dishes? And then I'll try to see well, if I can share my. I kind of suck at <laughs> remembering. Food. Oh, can you um so en enable the the screen sharing? sharing? Just okay. All right. You should be able to share now. Let's let's see. Um, I don't know if we. Yeah, hopefully yeah. this will. Can you see see the photos? Yeah, I see it. I see your. All right, so oh, I'll I'll, I'll pick on Kevin. Um, so these are the famous Pyongyang cold noodles. Okay. Um, that you can actually get outside of North. I mean, you can get them in in some large metropolitan areas too, but. But that that's like the famous the famous dish. And, are those French fries? Um, those are French fries. Yeah, yep, those are French fries. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, the the really uh, neat thing is that in every restaurant there would only be one or two other people eating there. Um, so that was <laughs> that was a little bit strange. So we never went to a place where it was completely jam packed. A full of people um, eating so um, so yeah but that that was one of the dishes the one thing I will tell you Dustin is that they fed us I mean we were only two people but they fed us they fed for like eight people I think they wanted to just show like food is plentiful you can eat I mean we we packed snacks we packed a lot of our own food yeah. just in case but but the one thing is that we we really liked was that our mender, they would take the leftovers and they would give it to the driver. So they at least didn't let the food go to waste, um, which which was good because we we could we could never get through any any of the meals whatsoever. Yeah, there's always plenty of leftover. And um, you know, the other thing is they always they would be asking you like, you know, what did you what do you want? What are you interested in? And then they'll just make it happen. Like that's yeah that was interesting as well that's how that's the story behind fries we're like let's check if they have fries 
you know there was a you know one thing is not like related to the movies but one story that does like resonate with me is um it's the story about the dogs oh yeah that's yeah. right do you want me to try yeah, yeah, yeah. You say it really so i uh kevin was all about like the he's a history buff i was usually staring out the window dustin just trying to see like the idiosyncrasies like it was just very like barber shop tchotchke store grocery store flower shop barber shop and it just it was so in sync and very clean and you know kevin's like learning the history and then i noticed nobody there were no pets like i didn't see anybody walking a dog so i asked our mender that and our mender like he's like well you know you know that's a delicacy here i'm like oh, i'm not asking you about that i'm asking you like do people own pets here because i haven't seen any and then he's like oh yeah he started talking about his dog and then normally people like pull out their phone and show you a picture of their yeah, pet, but none of that was going yeah. on i kid you not the next day i saw multiple people walking their dogs on the street that was just really bizarre it to really me was, yeah. Yeah. yeah because there were other few things where we would ask um you know about and then and then the next day or the next hour the next two hours we would make we would see it happen yeah so, <laughs> so we started to actually test that theory and i think our last <laughs> test was with dog with the dog yeah. the dog theory yeah. but uh <laughs> yeah so so again whether it was one giant movie set or not i i don't know about that <laughs> but i think kevin had some great conversations but he sat he didn't sit with me on the plane but he sat with some canadians that mm -hmm. have been going for years and apparently they said that they've been coming for years now and things have gone better right um like when they when they first started coming here you could tell like people were wearing you know clothes that were just over and over patched together I think people didn't have cell phones and they they've noticed that things have actually gotten a lot a lot better so what well, you know better and you know in the in the, big, <laughs> in the bigger things, picture, so, but yeah. not, maybe not too obviously are yeah. what we would consider better. But uh, we we tested that theory with uh, with the church as well. I remember and then we went by church and there was like a mask going on at the same. It's like interesting. So yeah, but the, yeah, you know the people that were there and they had been there before. They they just kind of uh, express how things have gotten so much better in terms of even the infrastructure and all, everything else around around Pyongyang. Um, they can't really talk about what goes on outside of the big city, but uh, at least they're they're trying, so. Is that the, a, the temple or? Well, no, we went to like the birthplace of the, um, the Kim Jong-un, Kim Jong-il's family birthplace so we went to the village it's a tourist spot people from all around north korea will come to this and they will drink from this well that's supposed to give you you know strength and fortitude and vision so i decided to drink water. Out for you? yeah <laughs> so did i yeah we it's, both, it's worked we both drank the juice so um yeah but uh yeah so that was just a one of like the the tourist sea stops where we did see quite a few tourists yeah yeah there was a few there was a few of them yeah 